Hi guys, Rich Page, our Gemathan Timber Frame Company, the main timber framer. I've been working on uh, in my shop trying to get a couple planers set up, and I've been working on the dust collection. I want to show a couple things that I'm working on to keep the dust hoses organized and maybe give you some ideas in your shop if you've got to work on uh, keeping your dust collection organized. Let me move the camera around and show you what I'm doing. All right, uh, a couple things here. Grab the camera. Okay, so I've got a dust collection system that I've got suspended uh, in my ceiling. But what I wanted to show is this right here. So as you're organizing your hoses, if you can see this bracket that I made, notice that it's got a quarter round edges. So where the hose comes into it, it uh, it's not going to chafe on, your, on the uh, dust collection hose. Over here on the side where it comes up on the corner, uh, you'll see another piece I made, same thing, where it's rounded on the edges so that it's not going to chafe your hose. If you come over here, you'll see I made a couple brackets so that I can turn my hose. Now, yes, we want our hose to be as straight as possible, but in this situation, I can't do that. But what you'll see is how I've got these brackets organized. Now, on the bottom of the bracket, I'm going to come up here and show you another one uh, that I've got set up up here for my exit hose. Uh, let me climb up here and show you what I'm talking about up here. All right, give me a second. Now I'll show you how I made these. Okay, so this is my exit hose here. It's a 10 inch hose coming out. This is the bracket that I made. And what I wanted to do is show you. So use a Forstner bit. You can counter drill, use a fender washer, put that down below where your hose is going to be. It allows you to swivel this piece here if you want to swivel it. But now you can see your hose rests in it. You can see that I took a couple seconds, put a quarter round edge on both sides. So now your hose fits in there nicely. Uh, it'll give it a little bit of room, but you're going to reduce the chafing. If you see areas it's going to chafe, this is a piece of uh, pipe hose, uh, hot water heating hose. So it's going to rub just a tiny bit right there. So rather than wearing a hole, same hole in your hose same thing over here you'll see that I've got a piece of hose here uh, that I cut out and put on there so it's not going to chafe on the wood I did put quarter rounds on the wood just in case sanded them down a little bit but that's an idea to organize your hoses I'm going to go back down the ladder a second and show you a manifold uh, that we made that's my dust cyclone over here to collect the dust but this is a manifold. This is a Wood Miser PH360. I'll show some videos on that in a little bit. But this is the hose manifold up here. So coming off the edge, if I can get a better picture, you'll see that I've, I've cut a manifold that keeps the hoses organized and separated. And of course, yes, they have the quarter round edge on them. What this is going to do is keep, keeps my hoses nice and organized. Let me come out here and show you so coming out of the manifold up above you can see and you can see the corner of that manifold so now i've got my hoses all organized so that they'll come down straight through they're not going to be flopping around and when they come into my machine over here you'll see i got pretty much a straight line i got a little more hose than i need i'm going to cut those back maybe i won't we'll see uh and it keeps your hoses organized so if you're doing something with your dust collection and your blower system Consider making some of these manifold hose, hose holders and some of these brackets uh, like this one up here. And that will keep your hoses organized. They'll be able to move a little bit, but if you round the edges, you'll reduce the chafing. All right. Give me some thoughts. Give me some feedback. Click like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.